Why is China venturing to the moon? What's the real deal behind this cosmic quest? How else can we prove our robots can work overtime on alien worlds? When the flames of the Long March rocket pierce the dawn sky, it's like a colossal space brush painting across the blue canvas, inscribing a stellar love letter between the Chinese people and the moon. This is no ordinary technological upgrade. It's more like a millennia-spanning space murder mystery. The moon is no longer a fantasy. In CGI visions of the future lunar city beneath transparent domes, Earth hangs suspended in the sky as Chinese astronauts in next-gen spacesuits walk alongside autonomous mining robots. The shadow war for the future. Why the urgency? Because the moon is more than just rock, it's energy. The helium-3 buried in its soil could power fusion reactors for millennia. China is already testing extraction technology. Whoever controls this resource will control the next energy era. The true benchmark of a 21 saint century superpower. How fast you can open a coffee shop on the moon. Imagine this. In the future, people will migrate to the moon playing interstellar farm games. Growing cotton, planting potatoes, practically opening lunar agritourism resorts. Ever wonder why China's space program is hustling so hard? Because we've already figured it out. The ultimate social media check-in won't be in the Maldives. It'll be on the far side of the moon. While others are still debating, should we go? We're already studying lunar real estate prices. After all, who wouldn't want a surface-view villa in the moon palace?